When the sun sets, 20% of the world lives in darkness. They work in the fields, they work in heavy labor type situations where by the time they get home, it's dark. And so there, any opportunity for education is minimized. They either have to study or learn from kerosene or candles. Their day ends as soon as the sun sets. Our goal is to continue to provide lighting so they have three to four more hours of light to study by and to advance and improve their lives. There you go, you can back off. Doug McNeil co-created right. a program at Los Gatos United Methodist Church in California to build $200 solar light kits. Church youth will install the lights inside homes in Colinette, Mexico. Very hands-on from day one, uh, creating the circuit boards, and then from then, learning how to use various power tools to assemble the kit. Once I got to Mexico, it's all hands-on with the installation, um, using drills and everything in the walls. Lighting for Literacy launched in 2010. The project teaches STEM, science, technology, engineering, math, and life lessons. Young engineers see firsthand how different life is for their peers in other countries. Along with each light the team installs comes a gift. And they're so excited about like getting these books and I just think that that's just something really cool to experience. That is a 21st century project that really addresses the obvious need for light and literacy around the world. In our own backyard, one of the things that I love about Lighting for Literacy is that it connects STEM education in the United States. Young girls are not always um, encouraged to be involved in STEM projects. The kits have seen upgrades over the years and can now charge cell phones too. Lighting for Literacy started as a one-time Earth Day project for Mexico, but the idea quickly went global. We got a, a call from India that they had had this rolling blackout. We shipped the light there. It was one of the first 10 that we built. And that light ended up lighting up the Thymane orphanage. So one seventh grade, 11-year-old built a system that lit the lives of 80 students. Lighting for Literacy partnerships have formed all over the world. We build them downstairs here at the United Methodist Church. They get packed out in their suitcases, they board planes, and they head to all reaches and corners of the earth. In 2013, McNeil and co-founder Jess Salem received the White House Champions of Change Award. But McNeil says the best part is watching education light young minds. I think one of the most amazing stories was when the team came back and Julia came up to me and said, Mr. McNeil, we built homes for the first time in my life. I installed compact solar systems. All I had to do was flip a switch and I changed a person's life with science. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.